Hello and welcome to the Kansas City Chiefs News Channel. It's a pleasure to have you here. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything happening in Chiefs, our beloved club. Without further ado, let's get to the latest news from the Chiefs. On March 31, the Kansas City Chiefs re-signed safety Dion Bush for the coming season. As usually occurs with signings made by the Kansas City Chiefs general manager Brett Veach, it was a little while before the contract's specific details were available. According to the salary cap site Spotrac, Bush will earn $1.3 million in 2023. In 2022, the former Chicago Bears safety signed a veteran salary benefit contract with the Chiefs. This allowed the team to pay him 2022's NFL minimum salary for a player with six credited seasons, $1,035,000, but carry the minimum salary of a player with two credited seasons, $895,000, against the salary cap. In a VSB contract structure, teams are also allowed to give a player up to $152,500 in additional compensation that must be carried against the cap. In 2022, Bush received this in the form of a $112,500 signing bonus and a $40,000 workout bonus, making his total cap hit just $1,047,500. So learning that Bush's 2023 compensation totals $1.3 million might have suggested that he was no longer on a cap-friendly VSB contract, but that isn't the case. Just like last season, he is being paid the league minimum. Now $1,165,000 for a player with seven credited seasons. But against the cap, that salary counts for just $940,000, just as if he had only two credited seasons. He is also earning the $152,500 in additional compensation that is allowed under a VSB deal, but this season, it comes in the form of a $8,971 per game roster bonus. There's one final wrinkle in Bush's new deal, $350,000 of his salary is guaranteed. This means that if Bush doesn't make the final 53-man roster before week one, the Kansas City Chiefs will owe him that much, which will then count as dead money against the cap for the rest of the season. This tells us that Beach is pretty sure Bush will make the 2023 roster very likely as a core special teams player, just as in last season, but also that the GM has learned a valuable lesson. As you may recall, the team signed former Panthers linebacker Jermaine Carter Jr. last March, but after Wisconsin linebacker Leo Chanel was drafted in the third round, Carter became expendable, he didn't survive the final cutdown. Unfortunately, the linebacker's $735,000 signing bonus and $1 million in guaranteed salary was not expendable. The Chiefs carried that $1.7 million in dead money for the rest of the year and very likely regretted it. Do you think the Chiefs have spent their money well so far? Tell me here in the comments.